Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about arguments for the existence of God, and this time we'll discuss the argument from evil. This one is similar to the moral argument, in fact it's so similar that it probably won't take long to describe. Premise 1. If God doesn't exist, objective moral evil doesn't exist. Premise 2. Objective moral evil does exist. Conclusion. Therefore, God exists. Now let's look at the evidence for the premises. Premise 1. Once again, why is it that some acts are really evil? What is it that makes those actions, such as gassing innocent people to death, really wrong? Unless there's some objective basis for morality, nothing can really be immoral. Therefore, if moral values lack a basis, it's impossible for anything to be evil or wrong. A person could claim that moral evil was grounded in an impersonal force, or in another human being, or in mankind as a whole, but it's really just the same thing as trying to claim that moral values are grounded in those things. And we dealt with those objections last episode. Premise 2. Again, few people want to argue with Premise 2. We all know that a lot of things are bad and evil. Conclusion. As long as both premises are true, the conclusion follows from them. The existence of objective moral evil implies a god to provide a foundation or a basis for it. This seems like a good argument. What kinds of objections could be brought against it? Objection. The existence of evil can't prove that God exists, because if God did exist, he wouldn't allow evil. Reply. This objection doesn't really address either premise of the argument itself, so it wouldn't refute the argument from evil in any case. But more importantly, in talking about God allowing evil to exist, it seems like the objector has made a few assumptions. Assumption 1. If God is all-powerful, he can prevent all evil. Assumption 2. If God is all-good, he would prevent all evil. Assumption 3. There isn't any good moral cause which would justify allowing evil to exist. In order to make this objection work, each of these would need to be proven, and I've never seen any strong proof for any of them. So it follows that God is the best explanation of the existence of objective moral evil, which is a strong reason to believe that God exists. Next time, can the meaning of life teach us anything about God? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.